Barlow and welcome to Beach and Beyond. On today's show, we're going to be hearing from Rena Thaler up at the Art League, all the exciting programming that's going on up there. Also, Jackie from Secrets, Jamaica, USA, all the exciting things starting back up here as we head into spring. And of course, we're going to hear from Jessica with Ocean City, all the wonderful things going on at the Performing Arts Center and throughout town and throughout the county. So enjoy the show. Water damage can cause serious problems at your home or business. At Royal Plus, we have decades of experience serving commercial and residential properties. If your property has water damage, call Royal Plus at 866-404-7587. Welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast. And I have a very special guest with me today, Mayor Rick Meehan with the town of Ocean City. And we're gonna talk about one of Ocean City's signature events, really the kickoff to the season. So Rick, why don't you tell us a little about the St. Patrick's Day Parade. St. Patrick's Day Parade. Really, I'm here as the president <laughs> of the Del Mar Rockets American Club. And co it helps being mayor too, though. <laughs> well, it does. And co-chair of the parade along with Buck Mann. There you go. And, you know, we're excited. This would be the 45th year we have this parade in Ocean City. Had a couple rainouts lately, yeah. so we're excited. We haven't had the parade for three years because of various reasons, so we're excited to be back. And, uh, you know, it's the largest St. Patrick's Day parade in the state. It really is the kickoff to the summer. I mean, most of the businesses will, will tell you it's the busiest weekend between Labor Day and Memorial Day. Some say it's bigger than the 4th of July. So well, and we're I think excited. it is weather dependent, you know, um, and if anybody hasn't been in a while, 45th Street Village has been completely transformed. So it's a really great backdrop for all of the events and festivities and all of the people to come both before and after the parade. So um, like tell us a little bit about the types of floats that are in and you know just the celebration. Well the parade starts at 61st Street you know there'll be floats a lot of businesses put floats in the parade uh, you know everybody really goes all out for the St. Patrick's Day Parade and you'll see thousands upon thousands of people in their green lining the streets all the way from 61st Street to right here at 45th Street Village which we transform into an <laughs> Irish festival so it will look completely different on, on parade sure. day. Well, we were joking about not wearing green today. We're saving it. It's All good, good it. luck, right? Ab absolutely. <laughs> to do it on, on the day of the parade. And, you know, something that's really special about this event is the Irish American Club really gives back to the community. And this event is one of the largest fundraisers. So uh, tell us a little bit about what the Irish American, American Club does and how it does give back. Yeah, it's totally a volunteer club, totally nonprofit. All the revenue that we generate from the parade goes back into the community. The majority of it goes to high school scholarships for Stephen Decatur graduates. And over the course of the parade, we have donated over $550,000 wow. back into the local community. Most of it, again, going to high school scholarships. And we're very proud of that. And that's really the energy behind the club doing this yes. parade. And, and the high school students, they are always in the parade, which is kind of exciting to see, you know, the marching band and all of the, you know, the baton twirlers and all that from the county, the countywide school. So it's always a, a great event that brings together not only people here in Ocean City, but the entire region. It really does. And it, we're great to see all the bands from uh, throughout the county and all the people. And people come from all over the Mid-Atlantic area and further to be here for this parade. It's really become one of those signatures yep. events. And this year, you know, it's really exciting because our club grand marshals are Billy and Madeline Carter, formerly of BJ's, BJ's. huge supporter yes. of the parade, always had floats, always participated. But on top of that, our honorary Grand Marshal this year is Governor Larry Hogan. Fantastic. And the Governor can't wait to be here, to be part of this. Because of some things that happened, he couldn't do it the last couple of years. We're excited to have and, and be was able to thank busy the last couple of years. Be able so. to thank Governor Hogan yeah, for yeah. everything he did He's for the state. He's such a friend to Ocean City and to the state of Maryland, but was a fabulous governor. So it's gonna be an honor to walk down Coastal Highway with Governor Hogan and he'll be the star of the show and we're really, really excited to have him. And for those of you that can't be here in person, um, something new that we started was the live streaming. 
So we'll be, I'll be helping to co-host that, um, and then Mike Bradley with WGMD will be do, in the bandstand. So we're going to have a lot of great coverage of the event. So for people that maybe can't be here or they're, you know, far away, um, they'll be able to watch the parade live. Yeah, we'll have you with Bill Baker, Bill Baker as a master of ceremonies, as you said, Mike Bradley as the announcer of the parade, and then everybody will be here. Festivities start about 11 a.m. right here. Street Village parking lot. The parade starts at exactly 12 noon. And then everything continues here until about 3 o'clock yep. in the afternoon. And then we hope everybody who goes out and enjoys everything else Ocean City has to offer. It's a big week. Yeah, everything's going to be open this weekend. Absolutely. You, of course, use the public transit, yes. drive safe, and really enjoy um, this great kickoff weekend in Ocean City. And if people want more information or if they want to enter a float into the parade, there's still time. So where would, where would folks go? There is still time. Best place to go is to OCOcean.com to get all that information. Um, you know, we welcome everybody. The more, the merrier. Uh, the floats. I mean, I'm not sure how many entries we're going to have this year. It's usually well over 100. So we're excited. It'll be a great weekend in Ocean City. Well, this is the epitome of pent up demand. It is. <laughs> so it's been anticipated um, for the last few years. And so we're absolutely thrilled. We, have, we hope we have a nice sparkling day like today. And I think we will. So thank you, uh, Rick, of course, Mayor of Ocean City and the president of the Irish American Club. So be sure to visit OCOcean.com. Um, if you're interested in a float or more information about the event. So we hope you enjoy. Thank you. It's going to be a great time. Thanks, Mel. Windsor Tech Furniture Thermic Island offers the world's best outdoor benches for your patio, foyer, garden or shower. Over 30 different benches in stock. We have Chippendale, Curved Arm, Lutyen and Traditional. Different styles. Rocking benches, swings, backless, counter and bar heart benches. Plus, personalized benches with laser cut images. A Windsor exclusive. We have a bench for you. Drop by your showroom and smell the teak. Or check us out at windsorteakfurniture.com. And remember, teak lasts a lifetime. This is my 10th season working for this company. It's nice being right next to the beach. It's nice to meet a lot of new people. You get to meet people from all over the place with the different visa programs that we do. The customers can be really great and sometimes you'll have the same people that come back year after year. So you get to get familiar with them and watch their kids grow up and that's a lot of fun too. It is a seasonal job. So you know you can work through the summer, save some money up. So come on in, apply, give us a shot. Hey everybody, welcome to the Ocean City Center for the Arts. My name is Rena Thaler. I'm the Executive Director here for the Art League of Ocean City. And we're here to welcome you for another month of Why Art Matters, brought to you by the Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. So here I am, joined by Megan Burek Lowe, our Education and Publicity Assistant. And Megan, this is a really fun month here um, at the Art Center. So tell us a little about some of the exhibits and what people can expect to see when they come up to the galleries here on 94th Street. So in our Thaler Gallery, our featured exhibit is by the Tidewater Camera Club. Um, they were formed in the 60s and they are based out of Easton. And they are a group of um, photography lovers and photographers that um, get together, meet, and kind of uh, learn from each other and also have some friendly competition um, in shows. Really, really outstanding work on this um, photography exhibit. Some iconic views and just so colorful. I love all the images that are in the show this yeah. month. Yeah. And then in the Galleria, in the Sisson Galleria, we have a kind of a fun exhibit up there too. Yeah, it is a really fun exhibit. It's called Somewhere to Smile About. Um, it's our group show upstairs. Um, and we asked our artists to create artwork that shows why they love Ocean City. Um, so you'll see a plethora of different artwork up there all about Ocean City and why it's fantastic. Yep, and definitely will make you smile if you come up and check out the shows in the gallery. And then we have um, a couple of featured artists in the studio and Spotlight Gallery. And I know there's kind of a scary bear exhibit yeah. up there. We have an interesting exhibit um, in our Studio E by Ralph Baden um, with his work that deals with climate change. Um, but it's in a really unique way. So if you come down to the Art Center, you might hear some bear noises um, and see some really interesting artwork up there. Uh -huh. And then we have a few new studio artists that that have joined uh, um, us, artists in residence. You're one of them. I am. And uh, um, so, in addition to the monthly shows that we have here, you know, the change every month, we have five artist studios in the building, and four of them have, I think, there are 12 different artists that yep. share those studios mm -hmm. and get a chance to exhibit their work and some teach here and. 
um, have a place to always show their stuff. So tell us a little about the new artists that are showing, including yeah. yourself. So in Studio A, you'll find um, artwork by me and Barbara Buford. And then in Studio B, we have um, Mark Enand as well. Yeah, and a lot of people know Mark for his co lively cartoons that he has in the uh, newspapers yes. they, they say emins on him yeah. so uh, but people don't always realize that he's also an illustrator artist as well so come in and check out all the artwork that's here in the building there's tons of classes this month with spring we've really gotten back to in-person classes mm -hmm. and just so many things that people can experience yes we um, uh, have a bunch of glass classes as well as painting pottery um, watercolor uh, we have a bunch of new classes coming this spring as well so definitely check us out on um, ocart.org. Uh, okay, so if you've never been up here at the Art Center, we're located on 94th Street. We're open seven days a week. Always free admission to come in, check out the artwork in the galleries, take a class and experience art while you're here in Ocean City. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Real in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Whether you're seeking serenity or activities, Ocean Pines has amenities for you. Our pools, marinas, racket sports complex, restaurants, and championship golf course are all open to the public. Our nature trails are perfect for that peaceful stroll or as a part of your daily exercise routine. Keep your eyes open for wildlife, especially around our beautiful ponds. Welcome to Ocean Pines. The Beach to Bay Heritage Area is an extraordinary place. Our byways and trails trace our history and our connections to each other. Our folkways are evident in our cultural traditions historic sites, and familial links. Our foodways are derived from our long-standing relationship with the land and water. Our waterways have provided commerce and recreation for centuries. Walkways in our historic towns and villages link people and places to each other and to our history. This is our way. A trove of ancient paths and trails, from cultural traditions and stories of the people who shaped this landscape from the past to the present, and from the beach to the bay. Brought to you by the Beach to Bay Heritage Area and the Humphreys Foundation. Hello and welcome to Secrets, Jamaica, USA, located on 49th Street and the Bay. Secrets is open on Thursday at 4 p.m. and Friday through Sunday at 11 a.m. Enjoy lunch or dinner in our tropical dining areas overlooking the Bay. We have happy hour from 4 to 7 and great dinner specials on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. 
or enjoy a night out with live entertainment Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Join us after the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Saturday, March 11th for the Irish Music Fest. Live entertainment starts at noon and takes you through the day and night with seven bands and four DJs. A special Irish menu will be available all day and don't miss our locals New Year celebration at six o'clock in the nightclub. We're also celebrating the real St. Patrick's Day party on Friday, March 17th, which will feature the same Irish menu, live music featuring two bands and two DJs starting at 5 p.m., plus an appearance by the Ocean City Pipes and Drums. Our second annual Craft Mac and Cheers Pig Roast and Beer Fest will take place on Saturday, April 1st. Tickets are $49 and include beer from Dogfish Head and Evolution Brewing, a pig roast, six varieties of mac and cheese, live music from the Big House Band, and a souvenir pint glass. Tickets on sale now at secrets.com or pick them up in the boutique. Our team at Secrets Distillery has been working on some new spirits. The latest limited release is the Chocolate Bumbleberry, made from Secrets award-winning Bumbleberry Vodka, and infused with roasted cacao nibs from Ghana. It's the perfect dessert cocktail. Distillery tours are available on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 5 p.m. See how we make our spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the early 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make your reservation at secretsdistilling.com. The new Atlantic Beverage Center is open every day at 10 a.m. Stop in from two to five and take 10% off everything in the store. And that includes all of the Secrets Spirits. Hope to see you soon at Secrets, Secrets Distillery, or the Atlantic Beverage Center. Find us and get lost. Visit Secrets, Jamaica, USA, where it feels like the tropics all year long. Enjoy delicious happy hour drink specials from 4 to 7 and nightly food specials Thursday and Sunday. Then get ready for the perfect night out. Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Secrets, 49th Street and the Bay, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism and Economic Development here on Maryland's coast. And I have with me today Jessica Waters, who Hi. is the Director of Communications and Marketing for the Town of Ocean City. <laughs> and we are at the beautiful Convention Center uh, with a wonderful backdrop of our new Ocean City brand. Uh, no, somewhere to smile excited. about. So we're really thrilled about that and we're looking forward to see some of that creative come out. It's coming. Um, but here we are. Um, it might be a little bit cold out and it might be in the winter, <laughs> but still lots going on here in Ocean City. So Jess, tell us a little bit about what's going on uh, throughout the next couple months. Well, we are busy. I know it doesn't seem that way and when you drive through Ocean City, especially during the weekdays, it might feel like a sleepy beach town, but we are rocking and rolling, especially uh, through March. We have a really great lineup of events here at the Convention Center and our Performing Arts Center. Uh, the one that I'm the most excited about personally is uh, March 10th when we welcome uh, Mark Roberge from OAR Yay! and John Lampley, who if you don't know John Lampley and Mark Roberge, you've really got to check them out. Uh, John Lampley is a very talented musician. He's known for his trumpet playing. He plays on the Stephen Colbert show with their house band. Uh, absolutely fantastic musician. So they're coming to kick off our St. Patrick's Day weekend on the 10th and then the 11th we have the St. Patrick's Day parade. The parade. And I can promise you whether you're Irish or not, you're going to want to be here <laughs> in Ocean City. It's one of the biggest parades. I, I think it's actually the largest St. Patrick's Day parade in, in, in Maryland. In the state of Maryland, yes. Um, so you're going to make, make sure you don't want to miss that. 
Now for those that have little kids at home, um, those parents that have toddlers and, and elementary school kids, we are actually welcoming you Blippi. Um, oh. Blippi is, is doing really well in terms of ticket sales, so if you haven't bought your tickets to Blimpy, make sure you do that soon. And then we have R-E-S-P-E-C-T, which is a tribute to Aretha Franklin. It looks amazing. amazing. Uh, get online, check out the promo video. The talent of these performers is absolutely incredible, and that's taking place toward the end of March. And then we're rounding out at the Performing Arts Center on April 1st with Louis Black. So those of you that like comedy, you're going to want to make sure you get those tickets because he's hilarious. Yeah, and such a variety. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you, the programming here has just been fantastic. And uh, there's about, what, 1,200 seats at the Performing Arts yep. Center, um, variable ticket sales, all, you know, all prices, all ages. So we're, we're thrilled to see all the activity here. Um, another big thing coming up in March from the 2nd to the 5th is the OC Film Festival. Yeah. Um, so Can't that wait. is our 7th annual OC Film Festival. I remember the first year and we were like, wow, this is really great. And it's really blossomed exponentially. Yeah. This year we have John Waters, Maryland's own John Waters of Hairspray, Crybaby, you know, you name it. Um, so we're really thrilled to have him. Actually, Saturday evening, he's going to be over at Ocean Downs Casino. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to go and see him do his performance. Um, the thing with the film festival, it's throughout town. Yeah. So it could be at a hotel. It could be at the flagship theater. It could be at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So um, really go check it out with OC Film filmfestival.com uh, and, and see all the variety of things that we have here in Ocean City. And, you know, like Jessica said, here we are. It might be winter, but we don't stop. So. No, we don't stop. And I can tell you, this is the time now to have a little winter getaway. The hotels have incredible deals. Yes. So get online, look at those deals. You can get a stay for much less than you can in the summertime months. The ocean is still just as beautiful to look at this time of year as it is in the summertime. Yeah, and I will say with Maryland weather, we had a joke about it. <laughs> That's true. You never know. You might have 60 degrees one day. You might have a little yeah. bit of snow flurries the next day, and it's really just all spectacular. And, and, and I have to say, the sun, the sunrises and the sunsets this time of year, it's really unbelievable. So even just to come to enjoy, you know, enjoy the natural beauty, you know, take a hike on Assateague, even oh explore the county, walk go to the, the, the state walk, parks, walk the boardwalk, and um, yeah, ride bikes. You know, mm -hmm. you can bring your pets out. So Really, this is a fantastic time of year to enjoy Ocean City um, and yeah. the entire region here on Maryland's coast. And for more information for all of these great events, where do we go, Jess? You want to head over to OCOcean.com. Um, we have our events listed there. We also have um, hotel deals, restaurant specials. Um, all the information when it comes to Ocean City can be found right there on OCOcean.com. Sounds good. Come out and see us. Sophia's Italian restaurant in Ocean City serves lunch and dinner with specialty dishes prepared by our chef Salvatore. Homemade delectable dishes like carry out, delivery, or dine in. Sophia's Italian restaurant. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And I have a guest with me today, Ms. Ivy Wells. How are Hello. you, Ivy? I'm she good. is the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin, one of the gems here on Maryland's coast in Worcester County. And we are at a really unique location today we in are. front of Oxer Studios. And so we're going to talk all things art. The arts are alive in Worcester County and especially in Berlin. in Berlin. So what's going on, Ivy? So we are a designated arts and entertainment district. And what that means is we have a variety of public art. We've got a, a ton of live music venues here. We have right behind us glass blowing studio, Jeff Oxer Designs, uh, another glass blowing studio, Beach Memories. We've got a historical mural. We've got a fun mural and we have an interactive mural. 
Oh, wow. And one of our newest and most prominent murals here in Berlin is the Reverend Charles Albert Tindley. We were just recently there for the unveiling, and that is just such a spectacular sight. So kind of how did that come about, and what is the significance there? Sure. Well, what people don't realize is that Reverend Tindley was born here in Berlin. He became famous as the godfather of gospel music, and, and we needed to celebrate that. We needed to showcase who Reverend Tindley was, and we dedicated an entire walk to him. Um, a local musician wrote a song about him and it, it's a really special project. We feel very fortunate to be able to work on that. Yeah, and, and at the unveiling I know the family was here and it was just such a moving and special time for the residents of Berlin and then all the visitors that come here and, and experience that mural. So it just it, it was a really great opportunity to showcase somebody who meant so much to Berlin and we, we decided to own that he was born here, and I think not Philadelphia, right? <laughs> right, right, he was Berlin born, and the interesting thing about the mural is that everyone got to watch the artist paint the mural while mm -hmm. it was going on, and that was just spectacular. And it looks like that, that wall on Bruder Hill it was made for that mural. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of discussion of where does it go and a lot of work went into it and so I think it just turned out perfectly. Yeah, so. it was a beautiful mural. And I know that the Beach to Bay Heritage area uh, really was instrumental in making that happen and we were kind of a part of that whole initiative and so yes. with tourism and economic development so it's really exciting to see something like that come alive. And you know speaking of the arts you know you can come and experience that in Berlin but also how about the dining? So we have become a culinary destination with a variety of restaurants, bake shops. We have a chocolatier here, ice cream. You can never go hungry in Berlin. Yeah, and, and every time you come, it's a different experience. Completely, sure. completely different every time. And, you know, people like to get ice cream. They walk around at night. They enjoy the beautiful art. Um, the other thing about our downtown shops is that they feature local art in their shops. Mm -hmm. And many of these, many of the artists like to showcase their work in our downtown shops. And the Worcester County Arts Council is right here in Berlin. And so you can go in there, you can become a part of that organization and you can display your art in there. Absolutely. And, and during the farmer's market, uh, the Worcester County Arts Council opens up early and many of the shops opens early too. And the other cool thing is being able to create your own art. I know here at the Glass Blowing Studio, that's a big thing around the holidays. You can create your own ornaments. So you can really be a part of the arts on any level here in Berlin. And for more information, where do people go, Ivy? You can go to BerlinMainStreet.com or specifically about our arts district, you can go to BerlinArtsDistrict.com. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Hi, it's Todd from Park Place Jewelers. We would love to help you celebrate all those special moments and occasions in your life. A new engagement, or an anniversary celebration, an incredible accomplishment, a cherished moment, a lifelong memory, landmark occasions, or a treat yourself present. So let Park Place Jewelers put a sparkle in your life with a gift of fine jewelry. Well, we hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to tune in every Sunday at 10 a.m. for Beach and Beyond on WMDT.